Hi everyone, welcome to Caking at Midnight. Tonight we're gonna to talk about how to not get air bubbles and bulges in your cake and make sure you stick around to the end because we're gonna talk about our 1,000 subscriber giveaway where you can win one of three of our Caking at Midnight t-shirts. So let's roll that intro. So when I first started, it seems easy, you put your buttercream on the sides of the cake in between your layers and you're good to go and then you start to cover it with stuff and it wants to blow out the side you can see when you put your fun on the cake um, exactly where your layers are and some people say oh you have too much in there you have air bubbles you need to create a dam all these things but i've tried them all and they all they all don't work you always somehow have a bubble on the side or it blows out or something and it ruins everything, just everything. So the thing that I've found to fix all these problems, it takes a little bit of time and patience. You know, we all don't, I don't have, but I promise it works. So I work with chilled cakes. So these are chilled. So just go ahead and start crumb coating like you normally would. These are two eight inch rounds that I have, marble cake, get them on your board. Um, I tried using a dam with your buttercream and then putting the thing in there. It still blows outside or you have too much or too little. Okay, now once you have everything crumb coated, go ahead and take a bubble straw and stick it right through the center of your cake and pull it right back out. You can throw this one away. What this is doing is now that you have your crumb coat on here, you have made it so there's no area or no way for that air to escape. So when you put that dowel through the center and pull out, the air can't go this way, but it can go up. So this is gonna sit in the refrigerator for 45 minutes to an hour while this settles and hardens up. Then anything that air-wise it needs to come out is gonna go through this way and out because that's the easiest way to get out of the cake. It's not gonna blow your sides out. It won't matter how much buttercream you have between the layers of your cake because this is already gonna be chilled and solid. So everything's gonna come out the top. Once it comes out of the refrigerator, then you can go ahead and either cover it with your fondant if it's smooth enough for you, or you can take your next color, whatever you're gonna do with it, and go ahead and cover this all together. If you're covering it with fondant, um, you're gonna take, wanna take an X-Acto knife and just make a real little slit where that hole is in the center of your cake. That way, if there is any leftover air that needs to come out, it's gonna come up through that hole in the fondant, not pushing your fondant out and creating more bulges. Um, if this is all covered in buttercream, I do the same thing. Um, if it needs a support, I'll put the support back in it um, at the very last moment that I can, or I will just make another slit in there in between the buttercream. I always save a little bit of buttercream that matches the top, and then I can fill that in if I need to after it's sat for a while. But this bubble straw going through the center is the biggest tip and sticking it in the fridge is the biggest tip to get them from not bulging. Um, ever since that I've started that, none of my cakes have had air bubbles blow out. You can't see it in the fondant. Um, and once it comes out of the refrigerator chilled, your fondant lays really nicely over that too. And then when your hand goes over it, it melts it all together. So um, you are all set. Stick this in the refrigerator, 45 minutes to an hour to let it set. And then you can come out and finish your decorating and you will not have any bulges on the side of your cakes. 
Okay, so first I really wanna say thank you for all the subscribers. We have hit a thousand subscribers and I never, ever, ever, ever thought I would have a thousand subscribers on my cake channel. So I wanna say thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and as a thank you, I want to give away three of our Cake and at Midnight shirts. It has a logo on the front, Cake and at Midnight, subscribe on the back. Um, I have three of them. They're all larges. Um, and to be qualified for a shirt, um, I need you to subscribe, subscribe to the channel, um, like us on Instagram or follow us on Instagram, and then leave a comment down below in this video um, that you've done those two things and you will be entered into a drawing for one of our three t-shirts. And then on May 1st, we will do an Instagram live video on the winners and we'll get them sent out as fast as we can. But again, I am really, really thankful for all of you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the comments. Um, good and bad. We're here for all of them. This is new for me and Josh. So I appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Again, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Instagram, leave a comment in this video. And on May 1st, we'll do an Instagram live video and pick the three winners. As always, thanks for watching. This is Caking at Midnight and happy caking.